Hi everybody, this is Danielle and welcome to my YouTube channel, Danielle Style TT News, where we deal with topics from business to style. If you find this video valuable, please like and share the video. So let's first talk about some R-O-B-B-E-R-I-E-S that has been happening, that have been happening, I should say, in Trinidad and Tobago recently. So the TTPS will on the lookout for a particular vehicle. TTPS employees saw two men changing the license plates of a car in Tunapun on Tuesday. The two men then drove off in this car. So of course, TTPS peeps followed them. They drove to a lotto playboy booth in Tunapuna. Then one of the men jumped out with a pew pew and tried to ROB the person working in the booth. The person was just closing up the booth at this time. This person, of course, because he's being he or she is being ROBBED, started making noise and TTPS went towards the BANDIT. The BANDIT pew pewed at a TTPS employee and TTPS pew pewed back. So the BANDIT car drove off with the TTPS following. Surprise, surprise! The BANDIT car CRASHED into the wall of the Tunapuna TTPS branch. Look at that. One of them had been pew pewed earlier, so they took him. That's one of the band B A N D I T S, of course. They took him for medical treatment. So let's talk about another R O B B E R Y. On Sunday night, a man was walking along the Taruba Link Road. Two men came up to him. One of them had what looked like a pew pew. So the man was walking, started to give him whatever he had, his belongings. While he was doing that, one of the BANDITS ran across the road. Then the second one tried to run across too, but was HIT by a vehicle. The first BANDIT who ran away first, he just ran away never to return. TTPS were called. The BANDIT was HELD and he was 15. His mother was called and he was taken for medical treatment. And do you all know the pew pew was plastic? So let's talk about another ROBBERY. A man had about $56,000. T-A-K-E-N from him at an attorney's office after he met a stranger on Facebook to buy a car. Now the man was going to meet the person selling the car. He was going to meet, they were planning to meet at the supermarket. When he, the buyer, got to the supermarket, the seller told him the car was driven to a Rima and they should go to an attorney there to sign an agreement for the sale of the vehicle. So that means the buyer reached and he basically saw no car and he asked the seller, well, where's the car? Red flag number one. So they get to the attorney's office. The wannabe buyer showed the seller that, okay, he has the money. The car seller T-O-O-K the money from the buyer and was preparing to flee. The buyer started to make noise, but he realized the seller had a pew pew on him. So he had to let the seller go with his money. And a BODIY was found Wednesday evening in a river in Barapo. Condolences go out to the family and friends of the deceased. 
and a speedy recovery to those who need it. Feel free to subscribe to Daniel Style TT News for vlogs, news events, and lifestyle videos. Bye.